Hi, I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters and I am a soul sculptor. You know, today I am looking under my hood. Why? Because I've just come back from a trip and my car has been screaming at me for a couple of months. I need an oil change. The check engine light has been on for a while and I've been ignoring it. So did you know that our car is actually a reflection of this form, our human body? That the better we take care of our car, the better we take care of this body as well. So yes, I've been ignoring my car. I need an oil change. I've also just come back from a trip. And so what am I gonna do this weekend? I'm gonna take care of me. So I want to talk to you about a couple of things that have to do with the car. So when our front end is out of alignment, our tires wear unevenly and they will wear out perhaps on the outside more than on the inside. And when we're out of spiritual alignment, you know, when we are not praying or being in gratitude or or meditating, our, our systems don't work as well. You know, but simpler than that, there's a few other things. You know, the car has a radiator. And what does the, the radiator do? It cools the engine. And we have our own radiator. And if we don't put water in this thing, in this body, our kidneys will start to scream at us. Our, our, our skin may get dry looking and get flaky and we may be itchy. So our body is telling us what it needs. When our kidneys hurt, drink water, but it's kind of late, you know? We should be drinking water before the kidneys start screaming at us. So, you know, watching that check engine light, the, the body has a lot of check engine lights. So here's a couple of other things. You know, we have a battery in a car we need to get our battery charged. If, if we leave our cell phone plugged in or if we leave the dome light on overnight, you know, we may come out and the car won't start. What happens if you're not getting enough rest? You're not recharging your batteries. You know, I got in this morning at what, quarter to four and then I had a seven o'clock client. So my batteries are not charged. I will be taking care of my batteries over the next few days so that I can function at my optimum level because when we don't get enough sleep, we might feel depressed. We might get a little bit uh, negative. We could get touchy. We, we might not be able to love our partners the way we normally do. We may, we may get reactive if we're, if we're not getting our batteries charged. So there's a few other things we need to put oil and fuel in the car and the better that the quality that the fuel is that we put in the car the better the car will run well our body's the same way if we if we feed ourselves donuts like i was tempted last night at the at jfk at, at airport you know there wasn't any food close to my gate and there was a dunkin donuts and i looked at the donuts and i went oh, do i really want that and i went no i don't so I didn't get it. It's 250 calories that are empty that do not give me anything but sugar and carbs, which are not really good fuel to run on. So we've got to give our, our bodies good fuel, good gasoline, good oil, so that we run at our optimum level. Now, what does that mean? It means lots of protein. It means leafy green vegetables. It means, you know, fresh, um, root vegetables to stay grounded carrots and potatoes if you can eat those things and beets those are really good I love to make soup with root vegetables and you know onions are root vegetables as well and it helps to ground you and this time of year soup is a fabulous food that can really not only feed our body but be really comforting and soothing for us as well so, you know, good quality foods, fruits and vegetables, and avoiding those things that are, that are false foods, like <laughs> fast foods. They're not real food, and they may leave you feeling empty inside and not fulfilled, but make sure you get enough good fats. 
And so what are those? Well, nuts and seeds have good fats, avocados, um, but there's, you know, uh, you know, if you're a meat eater and, uh, you know, bacon can be something that it's a goddess food, you know, uh, right now I'm on a grapefruit diet and one of the things I'm supposed to eat is bacon and eggs every morning after my, my grapefruit. So, you know, there are a lot of ways that we can feed our body and you know, we have to get to know this body just like, you know, we get to know our car well and the car and I become one. It's just like this body and I become one. I know my body well and my body talks to me. So we have to get to know the signs and signals that the body is giving us. Make sure that we're, you know, if we've got leg cramps at night, that we're getting magnesium and potassium and calcium, vitamin D, those things will help to relax the muscles together. They all work synergistically. And water, if, you know, when I was in New York, I was dancing for hours and I drank a lot of water, but I, in the middle of the night, I had cramps on the outside of my legs. Yes, along the ankles, and that was from dehydration. So when we're drinking enough fluids and we're getting enough potassium and magnesium, we don't get those leg cramps. So those are a couple of things just to watch for. Now, let's just see. So we talked about the radiator. We're filling up with water to keep our body cool. And you know, if you drink a lot of wine, it heats the body up. It'll wake you up in the middle of the night. And so we have to counteract, you know, and it's <laughs> minimalistic with the alcohol. Um, it's, it's really a good idea to eat everything in moderation as opposed to, you know, well, today I'm going to eat nothing but beets and tomorrow I'll eat nothing but, uh, but potatoes. No, it's, you know, different vegetables together will work best. And, you know, making sure that you get enough fruits and vegetables on a daily basis, not just one day here or one day there, on a regular basis. Juicing is a really good way to get the nutrition that you need without the bulk of the food. So let's just see, we've got the radiator, we've got the battery, um, the tires, oh yes. So we talked about the front end alignment, but if our tires are bald, now are you taking care of your feet? You know, if you have diabetes, sometimes you get uh, neuropathy where the feet go numb and using a magnet in your shoes can help to stimulate the blood flow. Um, and also, um, you know, there's a cure for diabetes out there. So are you looking into those things, holistic treatment for those things that we have created in our bodies and like I said before in my previous videos, our body is a whole unit. We can cause it to be sick, but we can also heal it. So the greatest and most powerful way to do that is by making food our medicine. And I have plenty of articles about that. You can Google uh, food and let medicine, <laughs> food be your medicine. Jennifer Elizabeth Masters, you'll find articles will come up. And, you know, I also have a self-love quiz on my website, and that could help you too. Just staying in align, alignment with your highest and best truth, being the best that we can, taking good care of this body so that we don't end up having to go to the mechanic because our engine isn't running because we've ignored that check engine light a little too long. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. Thank you so much for watching. And if you've enjoyed it, share it with a friend. I do appreciate it.